Hey, I'm Mike, and I'm gonna show you how to remove and reinstall the final drive from an excavator. In this video, Mike, a tech and mechanic, is going to show you how to install a Fortis HD approved final drive in your excavator. This one happens to be in a John Deere 250G, but the process is similar for other makes and models in this size range. For all your undercarriage needs, head over to FortisHD.com or call 1-855-459-1850. Whether you need a final drive, sprockets, tracks, oil, or more, we got it. Step one, split the tracks. I'm gonna try and get the pin out of, the, out of here for our T-pin. I'm gonna try and tap the pin out. So it's free. Now we got the cotter pin out. We're just gonna drive the pin out of the track. Okay. Step two, remove the rear cover to expose the final drive hydraulic lines and clean the area thoroughly. Step three, time to remove the lines, but make sure the system isn't under pressure. Also make sure you're marking the lines so you know which hose goes where later on. Yeah, so when you're taking your hose off, cap and plug in, Majority of the time, they're gonna be GIC fittings or ORF. So yeah, just make sure you get some caps and plugs or whatever, just to seal up your hoses and your fittings. Yeah, so this one's an O-ring face. So I mean, you're gonna have different fittings and stuff. Make sure you have a little bit of an assortment. You do this a lot, want to make it easier for yourself? Buy a flange lock kit. It makes it a whole lot nicer to work on hydraulic hoses. We got them, FortisHD.com. Step four, with the lines removed, it's time to remove the sprocket. This sprocket's gonna be going on our new funnel we have. So sometimes it's easier to, to take it off here, so yeah. Step five, time to pull out the final drive. Yeah, now it's out. We'll get the other one down on the ground, get the new one slapped in. God, might need a little bit of a persuader. Step six, transfer the fittings over from the old one to the new one. If they're damaged, replace them. Step seven, clean the mating surfaces off in preparation for installation of the new final drive. Cool. Step eight, time to put in the new final drive. All right, so we got her slung up, swung into place here. We got just one bolt holding it in right now. We're gonna throw the rest of the hardware in, get it all torqued up, and continue on. Okay. Just make sure you torque all your stuff and then put your witness marks on or whatever you need to do. Step nine, I hope you labeled them. Now hook all the lines back up. When you're doing this, your lines obviously have oil in them, so put a little bucket or a drain pan on the bottom when you're hooking them up, because it's gonna make a mess. And then just brake clean it out after. Step 10, strip the maiden surface of the final drive and clean the sprocket of any dirt and paint and install back on. Lock tight and thread all these bolts in. Step 11, time to fill the final drive back up with gear oil. Step 12, put the track back together, grease it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little grease in it here while it's down. So I'll lift the machine up, we'll run it around, adjust the tension as we need. The final step, fill the final drive with fresh oil. For a video on how to do that, there will be a link in the description. Now that we've got the uh, final lined up, our track pinned on, we're just gonna top the level up to the proper level. Then we're gonna tension our track and we'll cycle it all around and make sure it's all good to go. Yeah, so that's how you remove and reinstall a new final drive on an excavator. 